we'll look at question number two now. We'll solve using the variable approach method. Here is what we call the original condition, short for our condi. In the original condition, we'll modify that first. We have yesterday as 100n, and then today, which is 200m. We have two variables right now, m and n. We need two equations to solve for them. And in condition one, they give us an equation. Condition two gives us another equation. This makes it likely that c is going to be our answer. Let's see if that's the case. Conditions one and two together. 100n is equal to 40,000, meaning that n is equal to 400. So far, so good. Now, what we have is 200m equal to 60%, which is 0 0.6, times 40,000 plus 200m, which is the total amount for two days. Then on the right side, we have 24,000 plus 120m. We'll collect the like terms, and we have 200m minus 120m is equal to 24,000. So that's ADM equal to 24,000. And what M is equal to now is 300. Since N and M are solved, that's sufficient, and C is going to be our answer. Remember, this is the variable approach method, and right now it's the most recognized way of solving a GMAT math problem.